want to start with something a little easier. We're going to subtract using like denominators. So um, I want you to just really pay attention to what I'm doing here to solidify your understanding. Our first thing we do is we stack our mixed numbers. And I can right away see that I am able to subtract 1 from 2 in this form. So I don't need to do any kind of regrouping. This is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So just like he was showing you um, in the video and how you've learned to subtract, you start in this column first, right? Then you move to this column. All right, so we have 2 minus 1 is 1, and our denominator stays the same, and then 5 minus 2 is 3. It's, it is literally that simple. Okay, so let's try one together. On your scratch paper, I just want you to try, here, let me go ahead and advance. On your scratch paper, go ahead and try um, 4 and 4 fifths minus 2 and 1 fifth. Go ahead and pause this and see what you can do on your own looking at your interactive notebook. All right, let's see how you did. So our first instruction is to stack. I can see that I am able to subtract 1 from 4 in this form. So 4 minus 1 is 3 fifths. And 4, I should say 4 fifths minus 1 fifth is 3 fifths. And 4 minus 2 is 2. So how many of you got that? I wish I could see. All right. I'm going to give you one more problem, and then I'm going to have you try one on your own. 3 and... 1 half minus 2 and 1 half. All right, stack them. Let's see what you come up with. All right, we start with the fractions first. 1 half minus 1 half is 0. And then 3 minus 2 is 1. Here's where I want you to be careful. If it is not 10, it is simply 1. When you're subtracting fractions and you get 0, you just leave it. All right? So there's an invisible, we, we have this weird invisible zero here, but we don't put it there at all. All right, so you should have gotten one. All right, next, I want you to try one. Your slide in Nearpod shows the horizontal, ooh, I meant to write, horizontal um, expression. Then I want you to write the equation stacked. Then I want you to circle your answer. I need all of this work. Please stop just giving me fractions for answers without any kind of work or showing me that you watched the lesson. Uh, when you just write fractions and I've asked you to show me something else, that means you aren't watching the video. Slow down, please. Slow down, please. It's the way you're going to learn. On the next one, I want to see all of it. 